Welcome to another episode of Rip from the Headlines, the series that helps you think through complex school legal issues. Remember that the purposes of this video series are to help you become a better school administrator and to keep your name from going viral on the internet because you made some dumb decision that violated the law. Although Rip from the Headlines is intended to help you become more legally savvy, certain side effects also may occur. You may find yourself looking at school situations in a whole new light, questioning recent decisions of your local school system, and perhaps worst of all, beginning to talk like an attorney. With that in mind, let's get started. Today's episode deals with a high school senior whose diploma is being withheld because he wore a bolo tie under his graduation gown. Back in March, the high school sent a letter to parents and seniors explaining that adherence to the dress code is mandatory, with the word mandatory in bold and underlined. Girls had to wear white dresses or skirts with white blouses. Boys had to wear dark dress pants with white dress shirts or ties. As a school spokeswoman said, the bolo tie was not considered by staff to be a tie. We have many opportunities throughout the year to express cultural heritage, but we do not do that at graduation. However, some of the boys' classmates were free to wear bright orange, red, and striped ties under their gowns at the ceremony. One senior girl wore a headscarf and long pants for religious reasons. As the spokeswoman said, the First Amendment protects religion, and we do everything possible to honor that. There is nothing that requires us to follow everyone's different cultures. The student said, I don't feel that I should have to change my heritage for an hour and a half to wear an actual tie to show respect when they aren't showing respect to me. The boys' parents were considering suing so that they, would want, they want an apology from school officials for embarrassing their son and failing to respect the Cherokee background of his father. You're the school district attorney. That's the scenario. What do you think? 